Lapo, no Lapo. Lapo, no. Go! Goes on the little superior now. That's this is better. a bigger draw. First up, to my left, weighing 125 kilograms, 275 pounds, all the way from Italy, the Italian gladiator, Hermes Gasparini! And now, to my right, the Georgian Bear, the heaviest man in the pits tonight, weighing 144 kilograms, 317 pounds, Gennady! Here we go, Monster Michael Todd. And let me tell you now, I am absolutely bristling like I was living under Gennady's beard. This should go off both these men. Super explosive. Anything you picked up on those walkouts? I haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> My screen's still saying the stream's going to start soon. So if you have it on yours, tell me what's going on. Okay, brother, I will take over at this point. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Gennady Quickvenia, the man with the Zeus-like beard on the far side of the table, is Hermes Gasparini. And this is intense. Both men, such massive hitters. Both so intense, so explosive. And this is super important. The first round means so much. Watch for that blistering attack from Gasparini. He'll be looking to capitalise, to utilise that hand and wrist. Okay, so this My is awesome. I can see what's Mike. going on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay, Mike, you're back, brother. I was missing you, man. All right. I was missing you. Man. Here we go. So apparently we had a slip. Nominated strap. So we got a nominated yeah. strap and Gasparini. You can see how much it means to that young man. Michael, a lot of pressure on the shoulders of Hermes tonight. Oh, absolutely. He needs this. After his loss to Alex Kardashian, he was an overwhelming favorite when they announced that match. And for him to lose 6-0 in that fashion, he has to have a good performance today. Open. Not cold. Open. Huge amount of pressure put on Hermes Gasparini's shoulders by the arm wrestling community due to no, recent referee. performances. And he comes from a long line of stellar Italian athletes, starting way back in the day with his father, Massimo. And we've seen so many talented pullers come out of Italy, but none. Like the man we're looking at now, Hermes Gasparini, the gladiator, and the okay, strap being okay. applied. Who does that favor, Michael? I'm going to say it, it, it's going to favor Gennady if he gets any purchase in the match whatsoever. I mean, Hermes has a great hand, but he is tied to okay. literally a monster, a 317-pound Georgian monster. He does not want any of this about me. No cover.
cover in the top. I may be wrong with that. <laughs> he will be looking for the stop. Can he put Let's the brakes on the Ferrari? The man from Italy, Hermes no Gasparini. Known for that speed, known for that explosivity. Get any quick down. Yeah! Go down. The intensity. And one thing we have learned recently about Hermes, and we're seeing evidence of it now, Michael, he wants everything in the setup. He needs to be comfortable there, and that can take the edge off him. No doubt, no doubt. Uh, he's one of those guys that has to have the perfect setup, and you saw that against Gerdetje. He never got comfortable. He is not looking super comfortable here either. I cannot wait to see what happens on this first go. Down go those thumbs. Watch for Bill Collins now. He will wrap the hands. Be ready, ladies and gentlemen. Literally pulled underneath Hermes Gasparini and gifted him the hand and wrist control. And as everyone knows in arm wrestling, hand and wrist is king. We see so much evidence of that on the show tonight. But what a what a start from Gasparini! That would have done the young man's confidence a world of good. What's going to be going through the mind of Gennady Kuzminia right about now? Well, he's realizing he's not going to out back pressure. He's not going to beat the hand. Here we go in the slow mo. He's about to show the slow mo. Boom. He hits back. His wrist gets compromised. What he should have done is more down pressure on his elbow and started shoving palm into the wrist of Gasparini. He tried to hold everything on his bicep, and that's just not the right route to go right there. Very, very static, also. Extremely static positionally there. Seemed to be waiting for the hit of the Italian. Very dangerous move. Got a tiger by the tail and was punished for it there. And that's a great start. Remy's Gasparini, his ace came out early 1-0 Italy and you can see there's Absolutely. a new uh, vigor yeah. a new stride to the table oh no yeah Gasparri definitely needed that um, he, he is going to have some confidence right now do not count out uh, Gennady Quigvenia the guy's a warrior I do believe if he goes now more offense on go in the strap and gets it to his side of the table where he can transition to a press uh, Gasparini could definitely be in trouble, but right now, Gasparini is in the driver's seat. Absolutely. Hermes Gasparini capitalized on his ace move in the first round, and it's now up to Kennedy Quickvenia to show some of that versatility that he has. May we be seeing a little bit of ring rust? Yeah! Active. Slip, and we will go to the strap match once again. Neither man will be too worried well, also, about that, but it does give the opportunity to do different things, Mike. No doubt, no doubt. Now, he does occasionally get to train with LeVon, but normally in his practice sessions, what I see, he is the stronger athlete. Sometimes you need to feel somebody who's going to put you in bad spots, and I think that little bit of ring rust is there, but he knows what he's in for right now. He's felt the power of Hermes Gasparini, so now it's time to make an adjustment. Very, very interesting start to the match, and the nerves will still be jangling in both these individuals. Less so in Gasparini. He knows now that he has the tools to win the match. Got to make it stick. Got to make it count. And you can see how intense he is. Got to be honest, a little bit of nerves etched on the face of Gennady Quickvenia, which is normal. He's still got to find a foothold here, Mike. Rightly so, rightly so. But uh, he's letting Armies get a phenomenal setup. The height of Armies' hand is just overwhelming over the top of Gennady right now. Um, he, he's, I think, like you said, I think he is nervous and he's given up too much of the setup right here. I, I do think his hand and wrist are going to continue to get caused, especially in these setups. But if he hits with enough back pressure and side pressure and can get Ernie's hand past his shoulder, that'll give him the opportunity to transition to the press. Bill Collins we'll see what happens. To, Bill was trying to move Ernie's elbow back a little bit, as you rightly pointed out there, Mike. Ernie's really carving up, circling that hand up, trying to drive that lower palm forward. Gain the height in the setup. That will allow him to get a more full, complete hit into the match. And we saw how effective he is from that position. Very explosive puller. And you can see Gennady not happy at all with the hand position there. 
No, I mean, he, he let him get a lot before that, while that strap was being applied, and you know he's feeling uncomfortable right now. Oh, this is this is a crazy match. Now, this is a this is the thing about Hermes. When he pulls some of the same leg, no! the hand. There you go. No! Oh, drove underneath him there, Michael. And Gasparini looking so powerful. Back to the side, surely for no finish from there. Huge ask for Gennady Quick V to pull this match back from there. If he holds on to it, he's got a shot. But Hermes can transition to that press. He needs to watch his elbow. Uh oh, I like it. I like what I see. Oh no, here comes that transition. Oh, elbow foul. Dude, they missed his elbow the foul press. right there. Popped off the front, but interestingly, who is going to feel those bullets more? Who's going to feel the wear and tear in the arm more? Will it be Quickvenia, or will that put the brakes effectively on Gasparini? He's the guy that's looking for the fast finish, and this is obviously over six rounds. It could be a long day if some fatigue gets in that arm. It could be, and I think you're right, but in my opinion, that match still took more out of Gennady than it did Hermes. Uh, Gennady needs a little bit more side pressure. He was real close to coming off the back of the pad with his elbow. He just barely had that tip on the back. He's on the back of the pad. Hermes does have the ability to transition to press just like he did, but he did pop off. He got with the elbow foul right there. Uh, I'm still think, I still think Gennady's in it, but one more like that, and... Uh, I don't know what I don't know what the, the Gennady can do. He is. I've been in that position before, and that kid is strong. A little bit of uh, inexperience in some respects. A little overexcited from Hermes there. Just popped off the front, going for the finish. But he had the courage to move in for the press. And to be perfectly honest, the most concerning thing here, if you're in the Gennady Quickvenia camp, would be on the starts. His direction looks poor. Gennady at the moment making a lot of bad choices on that start and twice we've seen him pull underneath on the hit and that is gifting the hand and wrist position to a very very powerful man and from there well, Hermes Gasparini able to go to work Mike I completely agree now I also think Gennady doesn't have another option on the start His, if he tries to shoulder press on the start he's going to hit Hermes Gasparini's wedge it's the levers it's the length of the arms that are even that's going to put the advantage in Hermes uh, on his side of the table. See, that's the thing. When Hermes just got handled by Alistair Detcher, but that's because he's a posting style top loader who ran into a longer lever and just got beat. He got out leveraged, right? He is pulling some with the exact same lever right now, and Gennady's hand and wrist just aren't holding up. Now, you may see him try to do a shoulder press, but I think it's a bad idea. I think he needs to stop the match again, more side pressure, and then just bring that shoulder in and, and put the wear and tear on a uh, on Hermes's arm and I think if he gets to the position he should not pin him I think he should hold him and wear that bicep out I couldn't agree more and we've heard in the past people that have trained with Gennady Quickvenia such as Levan Saganashvili have pointed to the fact that if he does have a weakness it would be the hand and wrist and it sounds like that message has been heard loud and clear by Hermes Gasparini He's really capitalizing on that, and he looks like he's got a very dominant hand and wrist at this stage. So can probably afford to, like you say, just base his elbow and wait it out a little bit and time this thing a little bit better. I would expect we should see the strap again, but you never know. Let's see. Yeah, they're, they're just going to the strap. Uh, Gennady's not going to be able to hold on to him. I mean, it's going to go strap or it's going to go bit wrist press and then the strap, unless he can get that fast pin. Uh, we're, in for, we're in for a good match here in round three. Hermes has a lot of confidence right now. You can tell Gennady is, is wondering what the hell happened. Um, what's going on right now is exactly what I planned on doing to Gennady. I want to take his hand. I knew his hand and wrist was going to be the weakness. Like I said, you do not want to give this guy any bit of confidence because once you get let him believe he's in the match, he is a hard man to beat. But right now, I don't even know if he thinks he's in there yet. Certainly looks a little concerned. Gennady Quickvenia not found that settling point yet. He's been very, very much on the defensive, and he's the kind of guy that you will see the confidence. When he feels like he's got a bite in the match, you'll see it. He'll announce it. He'll shout it to the crowd, and he will let you know, and his opponent know, that he feels he's got a bite. We've seen nothing at all from him right now. It's a subdued, quiet version of the Georgian. Can he find a foothold as we go into the strap for the third time? Yeah, he's going to have to wedge that shoulder in there. Um, like I said, I don't think he should do it on go, and it doesn't look like he's for that. I feel like he needs to hit right elbow to <laughs> left rear and just wedge his, his palm of his hand into the, the wrist of Hermes and make Hermes bicep and break Alice wear out. 
of the two, Hermes looks like he's got a far oh, superior position there. in the early rounds here, Bill Collins. Perhaps the thumbs, we'll yeah, see the hands really closed wow. momentarily. Wow. And be ready, ladies and gentlemen. Again, some protestation oh, there yes. from Gennady Quick oh, no. as the hands wrap. Be ready, ladies and gents. Collins trying to settle the guys. One foul. The... Yeah, no choice really there, to be perfectly honest. It was a massive, massive movement from the Georgian right before the goal. Yeah, it was settled. that was a Devin Larry foul. <laughs> Here we go. So, the hands closed down. Be ready. Needs that side pressure. Quick Vini, but again, okay. he goes on the little superior now. That's this is better. a bigger drive. That's better. That's better. Much, That's much better. better. You now transition. That's there, oh. he's, got his hand and missed, and it's a big drive, and there's the pin. Hermes Gasparini explodes, ladies and gentlemen. Enormous drive to the path, and it's the top roll victory. From Hermes Gasparini, three zero shown on the board for Hermes Gasparini. Uh, that was very impressive by Hermes, but I really saw a fatal flaw in Gennady right then. Once that first offensive surge, he should have never came back to the center. He should have immediately drove his shoulder to the center and just rested on that bicep. Um, but I mean, it's hard. It's hard to do that in the middle of a match. I mean, it was his first chance to even get a purchase on his arm to even get him over on his side but right there that's where he made the mistake enormous drive off but the yeah. start but straight away you can see that Gennady was panicking a little bit moved to the side a little bit early and he completely forgot about the hand and wrist and all that opportunity was taken by Gasparini collected himself stayed compact <laughs> stayed with his arm gathered his arm gathered the hand and wrist and then drove the counter an effective counter. Seeing yeah, absolutely, dude. I, in I, the corner there also. I, I just looked back at Ron Bath and just shook my head. I'm sitting here thinking, daggummit. <laughs> I don't know what this means for me in, in, in nine weeks because Gennady's supposed to be my next mm -hmm. opponent. Um, I need him to come out right now and do something special. Uh, you got you got to give credit to Hermes. He, he came ready. He Like you said, he's coming off that loss and he had something to prove today. So... He is not going to go down. I mean, he, he wants it. He wants the 6 0 sweep. He wants dominance. But I still think Gennady, if he does, if he gets into this match right here and he puts some fatigue on his arm, he could 3 3 this thing. Now well, then, here we go. Hermes Gasparini. Gennady Quick Venue. This he is said it. This was a night for upsets, and a lot of people had their money on Gennady Quick Venue. And at the moment, the Gladiator is proving everyone wrong. And to be honest, he's looking great tonight. He's. Arm wrestling intelligently, Michael. Utilizing that weaponry that he does have. The explosivity. The superior hand and wrist. A great showing from the Gladiator. Absolutely. And that's the thing. This is what we expect from Hermes Gasparini. Uh, like I said, his last outing against Alex Kardesha, he just ran into the longer lever and he got out top road. You put that man against another guy with the same leverage as him, and it's going to be a very hard day. Hard. It's hard to beat his hand and wrist. His hand and wrist are like iron. And uh, the young man is uh, definitely putting on a show right now. And you can see, looking at that heavily inflated forearm of Gennady Quickvenia, that the lactic acid is rushing into that arm. That's going to prevent and hamper his movement. He needs to try and collect himself a little bit here. He's rushed in his movements, panicking a little bit and dove for the pad. And he's got to try and find a solid foothold get the brakes on and get some positional advantage before he goes for that pin I agree I agree I, I'm still of the of the of the opinion that if he hits him hard enough side pressure like he did in that first offensive surge and will immediately take his right shoulder and shove it behind his hand he can put enough pressure on Ermi's bicep his lower part of his bicep and his radio brachialis that he can fatigue him and, and get start getting some wins here but if he stays all back pressure and dragging with his hand compromised, Hermes will continue to do the same thing. Climb, transition, press. Here we go. Down come the thumbs. Bill Collins will wrap the hands and we will be underway again. Last chance saloon here. Gennady quick venue. And you can see Gennady still not happy. And that's a warning to Gasparini for the climb. That's a foul. I believe it's a foul, right? If they don't, if, they're yes. basically in a referee set grip or whatever, yeah. Foul for Hermes. And Gennady been showing that frustration about the climbing. 
they're out there, but really smart arm wrestling tonight from Hermes. <laughs> a little smile Absolutely. from Bill Collins as he, he looks at the Italian there, and you can see the determination etched on Gasparini's face. Gasparini needs to watch that right elbow. He's at the very front of that pad. Yeah, no room to sort of scoop forward and try and make his arm a little bit more vertical, which we've seen him do in previous rounds. He's trying to block the side pressure, and he's done so effectively at this stage. But again, keep your eye on that elbow. Down come the hands. Again, get any not happy at all there. We are on the way, ladies and gentlemen, and a big drive. But again, a little panic there. And you can see the transition from Hermes. Comfortable to come into the place. There's an incredible last drive, and that was the pin. We've got a down elbow foul. Calling something there. I think it's an elbow. That's the second elbow foul. So what is it? Three. Restart. Yeah. One each, I believe, in fouls. I think Gennady just got the elbow foul. I saw the ref, and I thought that he called a pin. I thought he did too. Not a pin. Yeah. Well, I thought it he called a, a second foul on. Yeah, it looks like we've got two fouls on Hermes. One foul on Gennady. Looking at the scores. What you see it. Capitalized on the hand and wrist straight away. And you can see that Gennady's hand is gone. It's all over again. Solid victory. And Hermes Gasparini. A bit of a masterclass there, Michael. Faultless performance in many ways. He did what he had to do. Oh yeah, he needed that bad. Like we we said that in the in the pre Well done to Hermes Gasparini there on the victory. 4-0. Or knows that it? Is that, are they running all six or do they just do best of I would have expected to we'll six run here, but uh, Bill and Sergio are going to so I'm assuming the footage. It says winner, Hermes Gasparini. Yes, sir. And Hermes is headed backstage. He's gone uh, to celebrate this thing already. But, Michael, let's focus on what we just saw out there. If you came with a game plan and you executed that game plan as well as that young man just did, there's nothing more to be said. It was the Hermes Gasparini show tonight. No doubt. Like I said, very impressive performance. It is a, a much needed win on Hermes to get him back in the conversation. Champion's response from that crushing defeat that he suffered at the hands of the very impressive Alex Konecha. But tonight, he stamped his authority on this match and he's defeated a dangerous opponent in Gennady Quickvenia. Mm. How do you how did you rate Gennady's performance tonight? Certainly seemed like he showed a little bit of sign of nervousness and a little ring rust. Yeah, so like I said, we hadn't seen anything from him since 2018 when he lost to Aiden Shafey 4-2. And his, the prior performance to that was in Moldova, and he had lost to Alistair Detta there, and I believe Pushkar. He looked super strong in his training. I had talked to Levon personally. He told me his hand and wrist were suspect. So when I accepted the match, that's what I was going to attack as well. I think he has phenomenal power. I do believe ring rust is real with certain people, and I think him being off the table and just focusing on these big, heavy lifts has actually been a detriment to his uh, table IQ. I didn't see the Gennady that I'm, I'm used to seeing. Now, interestingly, a little bit of backstory around this one for anyone who saw the press conference yesterday that was put on by uh, Core Sports. Some interesting comments there between Devon Larratt and, of course, Hermes Gasparini. And a lot of people felt back. like Hermes was trying to talk his this way into a match. Pin. Well, it's going to be a long night of arm wrestling. Michael, back I think we are table. going to see the next two rounds contested. The men coming back to the table. Vigna oh, the, no, no, no. Hermes just this, they're, from they're, backstage. they're on the same side. They're on the same side of the table. They're redoing that match. It's still 2001. It's 3 to 0. Mm -hmm. He just okay. said he missed it by half an inch. Yeah. So, right. ladies wow. and gentlemen, okay. just to talk you through what's happened there. A pin was called by Bill Collins, but it appears that they've checked that on the cameras. Contestation, they checked the cameras, and it revealed it was not a pin. We will go again. And you can see the referees just uh, have a little discussion to make sure. But I know in the referee's briefing, they did say that they would check the cameras and the dispute by Gennady Quickvenia. And 
Gennady there contested that last pin from Hermes. After reviewing, Bill has called no pin. So we are going to continue with round four. I'm gonna be honest, I agree with uh, video re review and I'm happy to see this match uh, still still be going on. Uh, I, I don't want e there to ever be a dispute whether I won or lost and we're gonna find out right now. Now, I was talking earlier about not seeing the, uh, the Gennady that I'm used to seeing. That by no means does not mean that that is not a world-class elite athlete. I just think, you know, he's ran into someone who has the perfect game plan to beat him. Yeah, and he's executed it exceptionally well today. And Hermes Gasparini, I'm sure his confidence will be through the roof right now. He's had total control on every start tonight. And I'm sure in his mind, he feels like this one will be no difference. We're going to start in the straps. Hermes Gasparini. Can any quick Vigna. One more round in the chamber for the Georgian. He needs to hit the target. What would you do if you're Gennady? Do you keep doing the same move that has been unaffected, or do you try to drive him with a shoulder press on go? For me, I think he's got to change things up at this stage, Michael, because everything he's thrown at, at uh, the match tonight has just not worked at all. It's time for something radical. It's time for something with massive commitment. And it's time to make sure that you do not fall underneath the hand of the Italian. And that's what he's been doing throughout the night. So it's time for a radical change, but that's a brave move. Charge of the Light Brigade time for the Georgian arm wrestler. Here we go. The thumbs are down. There go the hands. Again, Gennady not happy on that start. Probably with a little justification there. A lot of movement, a lot of climb. Absolutely, absolutely. But Hermes is trying to get away with as much stuff as he can get away with, and that's part of the game if you ask Devin. So. You ain't cheating, you ain't trying, right? Close your that's hand. what I hear. Go! And away we go, massive drive, he did commit hard that time, but Gasparini so much on the wrist and time, surely he will take his time and finish from there. Just needs to collect himself and show you an elbow on the back of the path from Gasparini. Massive elbow goal. The replay from Boohoo Man, we're going to see it again in super slow-mo, I expect, but Michael, nothing we didn't know. No. I mean, it's very impressive. I mean, just complete control. He did everything he needed to do. Now, you cannot, you cannot take anything away from Gennady. He fought to the very end. He did everything he could. He tried. He just did not have a strong enough hand and wrist tonight. Shots fired by Hermes Gasparini. And before we came back into that replay, I'm just uh, unfortunately I didn't catch what Bill was saying there, but I think we're going into another round. Uh, Hermes Gasparini looks like they're doing something. To the bar, Mike. <laughs> He's like, I'm out. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hermes, it's like it's like you when you ran off with your hammer, mate. <laughs> I'm out of here. Hey, There's that was win. my hammer. Give me. Give me my hammer. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> Ladies and gents, I think we will see another round, but to be honest... Wow, okay. There's, there's no change here. For uh, Gennady Quickvenia, just a little bit outgunned tonight on that hand and wrist, and he's struggling for options at this stage. I think he's thrown everything he had into this match, and yeah, you can see that Gasparini, comfortable. <laughs> And he's yeah. able to take his foot off the gas a little bit and have some fun, and we will go to straps, Mike. Yeah, every match tonight is going to be in the strap for, for these guys for sure, and I think we're going to see a lot of strap matches tonight. You can see that there's a little uh, bit of toll taken on the arm of Hermes Gasparini there. doesn't look overly comfortable as that strap goes on, and yet he's looked like he's had a pretty solid night tonight. He was never really in a bad position at all. No, he never really got compromised, but, I mean, he is full of blood in that forearm. Uh, he did just have that crazy uh, match with Gerdetcha three weeks ago, so he probably was a little tender coming into this, but, yeah. Y you suck it up, you know. 
Gasparini to put icing on the cake. He's already baked so impressively tonight in Dubai. And this is a great statement made by him. There's the control, there's the comfort level. I think he's gone on to a runner. Uh, nothing caught up there. Ganetti thought he'd send it and stopped arm wrestling. Didn't get the call. And was rolled yeah. through. I'm not sure what the call's going to be there. We will see in a moment. We're going to go again. Here we go. Down go the thumbs. <laughs> Hermes Gasparini, a little bit of cruise control. And again, that hand and wrist dominance. He starts to amend his position now and climb, tighten. Watching that. Oh, something damaged there. He felt something and he's let that go. Concedes that round, and I think that'll be the last match we'll see from Mr. Gasparini tonight. Something went bump in the night right there for him, and he makes his way backstage. Unhappy. And well, everybody that's just one will reason be so we... pleased. Because there's going to be no action on the practice table. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Those guys are really hitting my face somewhere. Uh, yeah, so I, I like the six-round format, I, I, and I want to show dominance. I want to win all six rounds. But once you've won four, there's always a chance of something like that happening. You know, if you can get out of a match injury-free, I always recommend doing that. But it does – I mean, I don't know. I don't think it's bad, but he, he definitely felt something. Four at one on the board, and uh, I think it's a done deal in his mind. And I don't, even if they were called back to the table, I don't think he's going to even attempt to contest anything. I'm pretty sure he's just going to concede the match there. A uh, little bit of a one sided affair in the opener from Gennady Quick Vigna, Hermes Gasparini. And to be perfectly honest, I think that's gone against the form guide, against the betting guide. I know that, in my opinion, Gennady Quick Vigna came in as a favourite. I think he was the favourite for the match and he was dismantled tonight. Hermes Gasparini looking rock solid. Really impressive performance, particularly on the bounce back after his recent outing against Kadecha. It looks like he's actually going to pull. Yeah, he's not injured that bad. <laughs> he's certainly containing him pretty good there. There's no doubt about that. Drove across again. I think he was looking for an, an early night. <laughs> Out in Dubai, <laughs> didn't want any more. Like you say, probably came yeah. in with a few knocks and bumps after the match recently and uh, just flared it up again. There's always ibuprofen, Michael Todd. <laughs> Bottles. Bottles of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if God didn't want you to go to the red line, he wouldn't have invented pain drugs. You can always get a little bit of ibuprofen, get that swelling down and go back to the practice table. I'll tell you what, if any footage emerges later this evening of uh, Hermes Gasparini crushing people on the practice table, then we will know that he's taken a few ibuprofen and doing what he loves to do best. But what a performance for him tonight. He's looked outstanding. His hand and wrist have been a different league tonight. He's known for that. And he was very, very explosive. Again, look at that dominant position taken up and his time there to just amend his position, amend his shape, and the, he's telling Quick Vigna to pull. Total control. Just whether he's got the finish to the side. A little pop there, big drive from Gennady Quick Vigna, but it's for pride at this stage, and I think an elbow foul. Restart. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, both guys. Oh. He's <laughs> Gasparini. He does not look happy up there at all here's the deal you cannot be making all those faces and still arm wrestling so either either suck it up and arm wrestle or say hey you can have this match but you can't be winching and wincing in pain and still getting up there and arm wrestling every round you go <laughs> here, we, here go. we go underway again and gasparini total dominance on the hand and wrist just needs to climb up collect himself Get a little bit more cup and then wait it out. Because to be perfectly honest, ganetti has got really nothing there. He's having to panic and bump sideways, but he's got no purchase That's unless he drives yeah. the shoulder. If he can push his hand a little bit past his shoulder and do that again, I think he's got a shot at him. There's there you go. Allowed it to go. Not really contesting yeah. it, to be fair there, Hermes. It's going to finish there. And, uh, yeah, Hermes Gasparini, a hope 
he hasn't come out with anything serious. He's potentially put a foot on that ladder that Devon Larratt was talking about climbing. But he's made a statement here in Dubai tonight. Congratulations there to Hermes Gasparini. An impressive win here at King of the Table 2. Absolutely very impressive. Devon Larratt is next. You heard it from the man himself. Next up, we have Brandon Allen and Larry Wheels. We're going to get a little bit of replay of what we've just seen. The Boohoo Man replay coming up right now, ladies and gentlemen. And you can see there the story of tonight's match. And it was a simple one. It was a story of hand and wrist. And throughout the hand and wrist was owned and dominated by Hermes Gasparini. Only in that last pull did we see the Zeus-like. Gennady Quickvenia get something on the board. But to be honest, it was mostly because Hermes Gasparini retired himself at four. A little bit of a tweak in that arm and he wanted no part of it. Doesn't look happy at all there. A lot of discomfort for Gasparini, but hopefully when that settles down, he'll be happy with his night's work.